Hello, hello, hello again, and welcome back to the Cat of Nine Tails run through the dungeon. This is Mutalisk, who has thus far died once, um, but other than that, he's been doing really well, and uh, that one death even was not so much a matter of bad play as it was pressing keys too quickly, so I gotta remember not to do that twice. Anyway, uh, the run's going decently well. I've recently acquired some really good top-level spells, uh, including my level 8 Summon Horrible Things, which I've replaced my Ignite Poison with. Sigh. Really, I should be getting rid of Shadow Creatures, um, but I don't really need the extra spell levels right now. And I don't use Slow, so I have like, in mentally I have 7 spell levels I can reclaim whenever I really feel like it. Anyway, uh, I've decided that I'm going to attempt to go into the Elven Halls and clear out one or two floors in search of a good ring or two to replace my Ring of Sustenance, which I currently have and am not interested in anymore. I've already removed the Amulet of Faith, I have no intention of building Trog- uh, sorry, building a Vehomet Piety any further. And while I'm still upstairs, I'm going to take this opportunity to drop the potions that, uh, that might get frozen and shattered that I don't want to take with me. So, let's drop Potion of Mutation, uh, let's drop... Really, that's the only one that's precious, so I'll drop that one. In terms of precious scrolls, let's drop half my curse-related scrolls. Not because they're precious, but because I don't need them. Let's drop a blinking scroll. Uh, that way I can still blink, but I don't... Oh, and all my amnesia scrolls can go. And that's it. I'm keeping the scroll of fog as a dud scroll, and the scroll of... Whatchamachocolate? Uh... Fog, magic mapping, you know, all these are decent. I don't really need any of them. Don't not need them. I could drop all my books, but I'm not overweight, so I'll keep them too. I think this is about everything I need, so let us enter the elven mines. Or elven halls. Right off the bat, I'm surrounded by the semicircle. Now, the thing about elven halls is it's usually a really scary hard branch to enter. I wouldn't normally enter it at level 12. Normally I'd go for the swamp first, or maybe the snake pit, or even just, you know, plunging through the dungeon a little bit further. But this run, I kind of feel the need for a little bit more equipment before I attempt those. And I don't want to do poison resistant free snake pitting. That's a recipe for death. Um, things to remember about the elven elves are that pretty much all of them have some ability to cast. As you just saw, the first turn I got hit by poison, as I got hit by fire, which burned out many, many, many scrolls. I have immediately confused, attempted to confuse the Deep Elf Mage, and now I'm going to summon a cloud of minions just to try and provide myself some physical protection. And it's not working very well because they're still hitting me through it all. Yeah, I, I am down to 13 health already. I don't actually know what I'm doing wrong, if anything, but whatever I'm doing isn't working. My abominations are doing their deal, but I'm still getting hurt. At any rate, uh, I guess heal is kind of necessary right now. They have dispersed into this circle, which is good. My abominations are now doing their work. So I'm going to drop another confused cloud directly on top of the priest. Okay, that's one down. This guy has a clear line of sight on me, so I'm going to try and confuse him as well. But I can't reach him, so I'm just going to run away. And run away. Now imagine if I hadn't been a summoner, and these first few turns when I was just struggling as a conjurer, let's say, I didn't have these guys busily mopping up my enemies. This could have been a whole lot more scary. That's why pre-summoning all those abominations was definitely the way to go. Okay, I am now hiding in the corner, and it looks like we have secured the entrance. So without further ado, let's resurrect the dead. Okay. Got some health back, and that delay is probably going to cost me my my high-level summons, which is fine. They'll be unsummoned sooner or later anyway. 
Let us begin exploring this floor. That is a deep elf summoner. Normally these guys are very intimidating to me, but right now I have abjuration at like max. So I'm not the least bit scared of a summoner. I can easily undo his summons. This is this structure you're seeing here by the way, these long thin corridors. This is how most of the much of the elven halls is designed. Um making it difficult to try and... I mean, you can easily get trapped in a corridor if you're not careful. Which is not normally a big deal, but given the way that I like to play as a summoner, where I get massive surrounds all the time, uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta bear that in mind when trying to set yourself up, set up your uh, fighting. Should be using mephitic resistant enemies before I start mephiticing, I suppose. Or mephitic resistant allies. Well, this is. felt a lot of good you guys are doing. I guess I shouldn't be complaining that when my ice bears are attacking fire enemies, they're dying. Yeah, that's something I should be expecting. Somehow my Behomet piety is going down, and that confuses me because the only way to lose piety with Behomet is to do nothing for several turns. I think you lose a little bit of piety every 100 turns or so, but I should, I'm should i getting at least a kill every 300 turns, so I'm confused as to how my piety is going down. It's times like this I wish that they published all the formulas from this game, like, within the game. There, I don't see any reason why you should have to exit the game and dig through the internets and find some wiki to understand the math. I mean, if you care enough to look it up at all. Whatever. Let's, uh, continue doing what we're doing here. A swarm of scorpions to take out a confused summoner. It's kind of excessive. And so far, so good with this floor. I mean, uh, nothing... Nothing I've come across has been terribly untouchable. I do kind of wish I still had Ignite Poison. It would be perfect for a situation like this. But let's use the spell I replaced it with instead and summon some horrible things. It looks like my spell failed and theirs succeeded, which is just not fair. Uh, I'm going to cast it again. There we go, this time it succeeded. And now I'm going to abjure to get rid of his summons. And it didn't work, so I'll attempt it again. This time it did work. And now back off and let the mass of abominations kill an orcish knight straight up. Yeah, that that's the power of these guys. They're, they're just wiping out my enemies. Just did a resurrect because I figured I don't want their equivalent of a necromancer getting the same opportunity. And it looks like we just mopped up that encounter and have an army of undead to boot. And I get to eat now, which is always a plus in a cat's day. Do I have recall? I do have recall, beautiful. So I can run ahead because I'm faster and then just recall to bring my army with me wherever I go. As long as I don't walk into a slaughter, I should be fine. And the abominations are very long, uh, long-lasting summons by the looks of it. There, because they're still here, at least some of them. I'm starting to think this guy may have gone invisible somehow. Yeah, he's gone invisible. That's why my minions aren't attacking him, leaving it to me to finish the job. So much useless armor.
definitely want to be using these uh, ice beasts as much as possible. Or not ice beasts, but summons it's the, at this point. Definitely want to be preferring using ice beasts to uh, using scorpions. Oh, what the heck is that? A death mage. Fancy seeing you in a place like this. Let's confuse you and then maul you to death with triple ice beasts, bitch. Yeah, that just that just looked painful. <laughs> All right, that's the first floor cleared. Let's do the second floor. Given the increasing danger of this floor, I'm going to get my abominations up and Send, sick them on my enemies. Meanwhile, I'll just hide in the corner and let let my summons do the work here. It looks like somebody else is summoning, so I'm gonna abjure because this, this, and this, and this are clearly summoned minions. Now they're all gone, just the way I like it. So, uh oh, something is actually hitting me. These three are within attack range, so let's confuzzle them. And they aren't all affected. Now they're all affected. My minion health, lower, full, full, decent, 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 full, running away. I don't think that I'm going to win this fight with just these minions. I may need to summon more. And my mana is fairly low. So what I'm going to do is drop one more uh, large group of uh, abominations then make for the staircase. The problem is I have to wait out the gas clouds. So one more group of abominations. Let's go with the summon horrible things, right? There they are. And have them focus down this group that's by the staircase. And look at this. This guy literally walked onto the staircase to block me from going, and he's in knife range. But I have him surrounded with abominations, so I'm actually going to attack him instead of uh, running away. Which might have otherwise been the right move. Alright, uh, we're winning the fight now, so I'll abjure just to clear off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minions that I could see. Enemy minions. Abjure does not affect my own minions. And... It's kind of hard to tell just glancing at the fight what's going on, but there are one, two, three, four, five elves, and one, two, three, four, five, six abominations plus two ice beasts, with one elf coming into the fight and one of them being a summoner who's bringing in shit. So we're still winning this fight. Uh, let's kill off these two. No, let's drop a mephitic cloud up here, actually. That will potentially catch the summoner if he attempts to come any closer and give me a clear access to the stairs while s stopping this one knight who's ne next to me. Also, I'm going to move on top of the stairs. I need to be able to get out of here soon. More elves are joining the fight, but the ones who are all standing by are, are dying. I'm going to sick my groups on the summoner at this point. And now I'm being attacked by fire, which means somebody has got a clear shot at me which is bad. It's one of these three and I can't do anything about it. If I go upstairs, they'll get two turns to attack. But the elf summoner is summoning shit, so this is probably my best opportunity to escape. I'm gonna t attempt to go upstairs. Nobody followed. Good, good, good. All told, that was a decent fight. I'm very close to leveling up again. Let's go for the next staircase. Oh, wouldn't you know it? It's one of these guys. I find it hilarious that even though he's one of the weaker enemies, tier 1 enemies that I fought early in the game, he could easily just smite me to death right here, right now, if he wanted to. Oh, I need a faster way to get back my mana. I don't know why my... my I, it bothers me so much that my Vehomet piety is dropping instead of going up, despite the fact that I'm doing exactly what Vehomet likes killing shit with summons and uh, conjurations. I mean, it's not like Trog, where if you use all of his abilities, you're constantly draining 
uh, piety or anything. Couple clears, that's good. Catch the summoner when he's not paying attention thanks to my stealth and end him. Why is... I keep ordering this guy to go forward and he keeps coming back and retreating into me. Which may be better for his life, but he's a summon. I don't give a fuck about his life. Alright. This is that fight that I had to retreat from. It looks like the key enemies that were here have already gone to that second room where they already died. So this room is mostly empty now. And I'm free to do this kind of shit. Okay, that orc knight, or that elf knight has just so much HP slash mephitic resist that it looks like mephitic kingdom is a waste of time. I should just focus him down, which is exactly what I just did. That ticking clock message you're seeing refers to the presence of a minotaur's lair somewhere on this floor, and by ignoring it, I'm not going to have the op- Wait, there it is! Entrance to the labyrinth. I could enter the labyrinth and try and fight the minotaur. Fighting a minotaur is easy. But being inside a labyrinth is much more complicated. Uh, it's a maze where your auto explore doesn't work. You have very limited vision. I don't. I'm not entirely certain if it's uh, if they actually add rules to make vision hard or it's just the layout of the place. But uh, yeah. And at the very end, there's like a bunch of loot by the stairs. I'm considering entering. Um, because there might be a good bit of jewelry, and I literally don't even have an amulet right now. On the flip side, there's probably not going to be any jewelry. Maybe a staff of some kind in a book, neither of which I pr presently really need or want. And I only have a bit of food. But I'm already nearly at full satiation, so I probably won't starve. So weighing the pros and cons, I think it's worth it. I'm going to go inside. Notice the message when I try to auto-explore. No exploration algorithm can help you here. Um, if this turns out to take too long, I apologize in advance, because, yeah, the labyrinth is a very boring place, in my opinion. It's not the typical uh, constant flow of decisions you need to make in Crawl. Rather, it's the long and dull walk around a lot until you see some shit happen. Notice that there's map rot level 3 here, so everything I just walked through I can see, but boom. My vision just disappeared. It also randomly says, you hear the creaking of ancient gears. When that happens, it means these transparent walls have moved potentially, with the result being that a path that was the correct path is now the wrong path and vice versa. So even just randomly walking around is no guarantee that you'll see the end ever. I have starved to death inside the labyrinth once before, but for the most part, especially if you have like two or three pieces of perma food, like three meat rations, three bread rations, whatever. You're not going to die here. There's no enemies, there's no traps, except the minotaur at the end. You're just going to have a long, tedious run until eventually you get out. One of the special abilities minotaurs, as player characters, get in this game is that they don't suffer in the labyrinth. They get to keep their map. So I think the search algorithm keeps working, or something like that, I don't know. Bottom line, if you're playing a minotaur and you see an entrance to the labyrinth, just go for it. There's no good reason not to. You might find a weapon you like, or whatever. Unless, you know, you're worried about starving, because this is a lot of turns to go without food. But, I've uh, commented several times during this run, food is not a problem for my Felid. Uh, she's been managing just fine without any, and ooh, yay, blood spatters. I must be... Nope, not necessarily, but maybe I'm closer to something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, as I commented many times, food has not been a problem, so I've had no use for this permafood the entire game. Might as well use it now. And uh, the whole point of it, the ticking of a clock means that 
When you enter the floor, a time limit is placed on how long you have to find and enter the Minotaur's lair. And the longer you take, the, uh, the less likely it is you'll get there in time. And once you're inside, of course, it won't disappear, but if you don't enter the lair before, before the ticking clock is up, then you lose that chance to enter altogether for that floor. All the labyrinth de entrances disappear. So, kind of another added incentive. So, fingers crossed that I get a good ring here, or a nice amulet, and I can just, or maybe just poison resist in any form, and then I can get right back to what I actually want to be doing, which is dungeon exploring. And I've run out of powder. Okay, see that? How the wall is a different shape here there, and a different color? That's a different kind of wall. There are three tiers of wall. Above me you see tier 1, to the right of me you see tier 2, and above me now you see tier 3. The Minotaur's actual hideout generally is closer to an area surrounded by tier 3 wall. I, I'm making up this term tier, I don't know what it really is. I think stone versus metal, or rock, or whatever the hell. Of course, that isn't necessarily helping me find out how to get to that area, but it's just one more thing to look forward to when you're wandering around. I think also it randomly teleports you every now and then, just, you know, guaranteeing that whatever you find or see ends up being totally useless. Yeah, there are very few places in Crawl that I actively can say I just hate the existence of this level. The Labyrinth is one of them. The Abyss even I don't mind as much. I, sure, it's it's potentially unfair, random number god hell, etc, etc. Especially since you can, you can be forced to enter there against your will as opposed to choosing to go there on purpose. But compare that to the sheer boredom levels you get in the labyrinth, there's no comparison. It's a dull place. I think I may have actually come this way already. I don't know. I may have gotten turned around. Yeah. And thanks to map rot and random teleports, there's really no way to know for sure. So just for fun, what uh, earlier today I tried out a uh, Kenku Conjurer slash Summoner build, similar to what I'm doing with this feeling, and it fell flat on its face almost immediately. Definitely some of the- whoa! This is the first time I've ever seen a non-Minotaur uh, creature inside the vault, or sorry, inside the labyrinth, and wouldn't you know it, it's a creature that can induce starvation. go. He's dead. That was exciting. We actually got to do something that wasn't walking for a little while. Not that I'm recommending that you add enemies to the uh, labyrinth. It's co annoying enough without that. Alrighty. It looks like I've been wandering long enough that I lost more vehement piety already. That's kind of an irritation kind of really an irritation. Uh, I was already irritated, I mean I was already losing out enough piety f for having taken off the amulet without it having to take a punishment just from the fact that I'm wandering forever. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, it looks like this is the top of the map. So maybe I head southeast overall from here. Yeah, I definitely got turned around at some point, because I remember this exact set of translucent walls. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this going for another, like, ten minutes or so, and if after that I haven't found the exit yet, I'm probably just going to turn off the video so as to spare you guys the irritation and boredom and ennui. If, Sky if uh, Mutalist happens to die before I start recording again, I apologize that you'll miss out on that. But... Um, if I see, like, the end is in sight or something, I'll start up the recording in the next vid and go from there.
but uh, that gives me exactly 10 more minutes to work with. So here goes nothing. And of course, if I'll recap for you, you guys whatever interesting shit happens if I do end up skipping. Like, that's not even a question. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, I, I if any of you know of a strategy that I don't, please feel free to inform me, but I clearly don't have a good strategy for doing the labyrinth. I just enter and walk until I find an exit. I am noticing, however, that the whole felids can eat meat. They also don't digest as fast, as in they, they get more food benefit in general. Either that or it's the Ring of Sustenance doing its work, because I'm still at the same satiety of overall value that I was when I entered. I haven't even dropped down a pip yet. Come on, man. Where are you? But yeah, for all the hubbub around getting to the Minotaur and the build-up, he's really a pretty no-challenge boss. He, uh... He's mephiticable, and it hits and fights about as hard as a, I'd, I'd say a death yak with a weapon, so or herald even, and without as much defense. So you can take him down fairly conveniently once you find him. The key being, you know, once you find him. Like I'm probably not even gonna have to use my my heavy high level level eight summons. Just let tier two ice summons with maybe some. Uh, Scorpion backup will be plenty. Of course, I might just starve to death instead, or just quit the game out of sheer frustration. All I'm saying is there better be some godly loot at the end of this. I'm talking manuals of spellcasting or necromutation or some sh like that. circles, because that whole area was a dead end. If I see that T, I guess I'll know next time sooner. I mean, I'm not even sure what... The thing is, I have gotten out of the, the labyrinth fairly quickly before. You know, maybe just luck, so... I always have the vague hope that when I enter, it won't take too long. Okay, here we go. Area surrounded by steel. I found the door. That's probably the way out. Okay, for those of you who had stopped paying attention like me, pay attention because there's a minotaur. We're going to start by gassing the area, and then summoning ice beasts. Man, he is, he is, uh, he is definitely holding up better than I'm expect I expected him to. So what I'm going to do here... Yeah, you know what, screw it. I don't want to fight him too long. I'm just going to go straight up and get Abominations out. And have them take him out. Here we go, he's dead. Abominations did their work. In we go. Wow. All the loot, completely worthless. A slimy, art an artifact mace, a ruined spear... Needles of Sickness, Glowing Armor, Ruined Splint Mail with two wands, probably one of them a Wand of Healing, and a Jeweled Crown, which I'm actually going to take because I want a trophy. All of it completely freaking useless. That entire trip was a waste of time. Worse, it even cost me piety. <sighs> Crawl seems to hate me today. It really doesn't want me to have any good artifacts, or any good room, uh, jewelry. I spent my scroll of acquisition on it. I've cleared out the entire Orcish Mines and a store trying to get some. Actually, I don't need to buy food. I have plenty. I've, I've, I've done everything right to try and make, to optimize my opportunities to get good jewelry. And instead, all I've gotten is that was of real use to me has been the Spring of Wizardry. The good news is, uh, my Vehumet Piety is at least back to where it was before I entered the the whole labyrinth. I'm just spam casting Abjuration here. There we go. 
was dead. Okay, I'm not going to enter deep El uh, Elven Halls 3. Um, that, that seems more dangerous to me than than facing off uh, some of the other branches. I think I'm going to return to the main dungeon and just go another floor deeper rather than attempting to do the snake pits without any magic resistance. My spell casting and summonings are both still growing. They're both at level 15 and doing just fine. So no complaints there. Like at this point I can su I can mem memorize level 7s. I could even memorize haunt if I wanted to. Uh, problem I have with Haunt is I don't have any way to resist its evil effects on me. I could memorize Twisted Resurrection, but I already have a means of getting Abominations, so I don't need it. If I drop my le um, I have a level 5 that I don't need, I forget which one, but if I drop that and get 5 spell levels up, I can take Ignite Poison again for better Conjuration damage. I don't know how Malign Gateway works, so I don't want to branch into that. Really, none of these are interesting. I don't know what Death's Channel does either. Let me actually read up on Death's Channel. Races living creatures slain by the caster and his or her allies into a state of unliving slavery as spectral things. That sounds a lot like I am animate dead. Why is this a level 7 spell? I don't know what the hell this is. This seems like an interesting spell to look up and understand the difference, so... Um, at any rate, it's a pure necromancy spell, and I have almost no points in necromancy, so I won't be able to learn that for a while. But that's something I want to figure out about, because it sounds like a cool uh, cool flavor text for a spell. Anyway, that's my time for now, so this is a Hunter Sheet signing off for now. Thanks for watching. Sorry you, didn't, uh, sorry you got to see Crawl screw me again, but we did clear out two floors of the Elven Halls, and that's something.